With the latest patch in Madden 22, EA Sports just changed the meta. And I think that this blitzing concept is absolutely going to destroy a lot of the meta, the, the meta blocking schemes, the meta offenses that you're going to be facing online. So we're going to break that down in this video. And I hope you're excited. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel. We upload new videos every single day, a couple times a day. Also, I want to let you know that in this video, we're going to be talking about the Nickel 335 Will, why the Nickel 335 Will is so good post-patch. And we're also uh, in the Chicago Bears defensive playbook. Now, if you want to learn my entire Nickel 335 Will defensive ebook, I'm going to encourage you to join my Patreon. My Patreon is just $10 a month. And by joining that, you're going to get instant access to every single defense that we've released. So far, we've released 335 Will, 335 Wide, 245 Odd, Nickel Triple. We also just released the 4-3 even 6-1, which a lot of pros are running. Uh, we've talked about the Dime Rush package. And then, of course, we've talked about uh, the Dollar 326, and, uh, as well as several other uh, defenses. We've got eight defensive ebooks out. So be sure to join the Patreon. Again, it's just 10 bucks a month, and you can cancel whenever you like. We've also got four offensive ebooks over there as well. So if you want to start learning how to kind of bomb pretty much any defense, I would encourage you to go over and join that. So... Uh, that being said, guys, we're going to talk today about uh, just a basic blitz that you can use that got a lot better post-patch. Um, I like to do this blitz out of the cover three. Um, I really do like cover three match. I've been trying to study that a little bit more and just learn how that works. Uh, but we're just going to do it out of a basic cover three uh, shell. Uh, I think that's the easiest way to do it. So all we're going to do is, uh, as you see here, you don't even necessarily have to show blitz. You're going to see that this guy's already down here when you come out in cover three. But I like to go ahead and show blitz because you're going to see it's going to bring him off of the line. And it's going to kind of straighten out your shell. So you see, this is kind of the look that we have pre-snap. Now, here's the, here's the big, big thing uh, that happened in the patch that really affected how this is going to work. Essentially, what happened is they significantly reduced the effectiveness of blocking a tight end in a formation to be able to pick up pressure. What I mean by that is you can't delay fade to pick up pressure anymore. It's going to make it significantly worse. The 3 to 5 will was already really good, but now with this, you know, with this little trick, what people are going to have to start doing to pick up pressure is they're going to have to block their running back. So all we're going to do is we're going to blitz the safety off the edge. Then from there, you can take this guy white and just simply put him in a hard flat and then you can shade your coverage down if you want to. Um, and so you're going to see this is kind of what the, the play looks like. We're going to stand kind of right here. Okay. Uh, what you should see is we should get instant pressure off of this left side. Sometimes it will come through the B gap. Sometimes it will come off the edge. It's a very simple, um, it's a very simple five man pressure and very effective, right? Very, very good. And we could cut the video off right there. And honestly, you have a really good defense, right? You see how good this works. But what makes this super, super effective is not just how it works in this situation, but how we're going to turn this into a really good blitz against uh, pretty much anything that the offensive line is going to do. So the first thing we're going to show this against is a block tight end. What you're going to see is if they block the tight end, um, oftentimes it will still loop around. I'm getting a little bit of a bad animation over there. If you're getting this bad animation, all you need to do is crash your line to the left. Um, and then when you crash your line to the left, you might need to move this guy in just a step so that he's on the contain and you want to stand kind of right here with your user. If you want to put your user on a blitz, um, it will help the consistency of the pressure uh, just because the offensive line will probably be more likely to recognize you. So uh, when we do this, what you're going to see is now, as you can see, see how that loop really gets wider and that's what makes this so good. So uh, that time we saw, and I'll just show and replay what happened, um, the tight end blocks. And as you can see here, we get this really glitchy contain animation that makes this super, super powerful. So they, they can't just block a tight end. If, you're, if they're facing 3 through 5 wide, a lot of times what they're going to do is they're just going to block the tight end and try to throw a crosser on you until you stop blitzing. And then you're, gonna, and then you're just going to go back and forth with that chess match all game. Well, with this, they can't really do that. They can't block a tight end and pick up this blitz. Again, just move this, just just kind of move him just a, just a very, very minute. You don't have to move him very much, right? Uh, but now, as you'll see here, you get this wide looping contain, and it just absolutely destroys this offense, right? So that's kind of part A of this. Now, part B of this is what do you do 
or how does this blitz work if they block their running back or even if they max protect we're going to show you so show blitz crash your line to the left blitz this guy and again normally you're just going to move him just a step just move him just like a, a just a very small amount um and what you're going to see here make sure i got him on the contain so you see here we crash our line to the tight end side um, now we're going to block the running back and what you're going to see is this contain is going to loop around the running back as you can see and it's going to still come in now if you get an animation like what i just got occasionally um, it will be a little bit delayed but for the most part this is going to come uh, completely free so there you see here we've got him on the contain we shouldn't have to move him any more than we did um, if you want to you can use or this guy just bring him over here okay you just need to be opposite of the running back that's the important part uh, of this defense so now same thing and what you'll see here now see how this can see how the contain kind of loops around and uh typically what's going to happen is you know i'm getting a really good shed uh from pierre paul pretty much every time consistently with this if you were in something like this and they blocked a running back um let me show you what it would look like so you do something like this you should see see, see how pierre paul is shedding and, and instantly going in that's going to happen fairly consistently but the other thing that's going to happen really consistently is you should be able to get this safety uh off of this off of this contain okay and typically what's going to happen is that's going to come more when they start to max protect so i'm going to max protect here and what you should see is eh, i messed up my, my placement of that safety again if that doesn't come in typically what that means is you've messed up your con you've messed up where uh he's supposed to stand uh so you know it's kind of like a thing that's why i like to say you know move him just a step if you just move him one little step typically this will work pretty consistently so now this is max protect and you see how the contain flies in that's really good blitz uh in my opinion because now pretty much what you're going to force them to do is they're going to have to send five out and just try to dot um but look at this right here so i'm blocking the tight end i'm also blocking the running back and I'm only sending five. And this is why I think this blitz is so good. Um, you're only sending five. They're blocking seven. And you're coming in clean every time. Uh, with the patch, they can't block. They can't delay fade a tight end to pick up any pressure regardless. So this is going to work against several formations. Now, um, I also want to show this uh, little advanced setup. Um, in the ebook, we talk a little bit more about this. But what you can try to do is if you, if you, if you really feel like you've you know you you know you can do this you can try to send this from a two-man perspective so you see here you know we're only sending two it doesn't always work but sometimes against max protect you'll still come in um as you can see you get a really fast shed even if you don't come in so this is why i like 335 will so much because i can simply sit in this coverage this is very good coverage for bunch by the way uh, all we're doing is we're going to, I mean, you can do whatever. I like to bluff blitz this guy. You can uh, spy or bluff blitz this guy too. It doesn't really matter. Um, you know, or you could spy, bluff blitz, hard flat. You've got a yellow over here now. I would take this guy and put him on a hard flat. And then I would just user uh, David here. But you see here, I mean, this is a very good blitz. Um, and again, you know, it doesn't always come in against Max Protect, but you see you get a quick shed, quick bluff. Um, it, it's fairly good pressure. So I'd encourage you to try this out. If you want to learn the rest of the 335 Will defense, I think that the 335 Will defense is good for several different reasons. Um, it's really good against the run. It's got every match, pretty much every match coverage that you could want. And you get blitzes like this that are really, really hard to pick up by the bunch meta. So um, I, I would encourage you to try that out again. If you want to get this ebook or if you just want to learn uh, or if you just want to uh, get every ebook that I've released so far this season, be sure to head over to the Patreon. We've got 12 ebooks. We've got another one on the way this weekend that I'm really, really excited about. I've been working on this offensive guide for probably two, maybe three weeks now. And I have to tell you, I've, I've been feeling really good on the offensive side of the ball. I know that Matt 22 is an offensive friendly name, but this takes it to a whole nother level. Like it is very difficult to stop me and you can pick up pretty much every major pressure concept out of like dollar and stuff like that. So if you want to, if you want to get, um, get all the eBooks that we've got so far, get all the eBooks that we're going to release while your subscription is active, 
Again, be sure to join the Patreon. I'm going to put a link down in the description below, and you'll be able to join that for just $10 a month. And again, you can cancel it whenever you would like to. If you just want the actual 335 Will ebook, you don't want anything else, you don't want a membership, I get it. Um, there's a pay hip link down there where you can just get the individual ebook. But my recommendation, I think the best deal uh, is to join that Patreon. Again, it's just 10 bucks a month, and you can cancel whenever you want. Uh, so again, be sure to do that. There's a link down below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.